can't talk, that's okay. On, off, on, off. I don't know. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a highly requested video. I'm going to do an updated what's in my bag video because recently I've been using my Balenciaga bag so, so, so much. It is like my favorite bag right now. It is just the perfect size for like going out to town or just hanging out with friends or doing whatever. It is just the perfect size and it just fits my style so, so much at the moment. I'm just so much into those tassels and that bit kind of like a rockabilly style. So here is the back from the front and from the back. You can see that this is the front because it's got like a little pocket here. You can't really use it for that much actually. It just stores a little um, mirror as you can see which is so cool so you can always check yourself out. Um, so I really like that. So you always have a mirror with you when you've got this back so that is so cool. And I love the tassels. I mean that's just so cool. There's tassels on all of the zippers as you can see and they're really long and like tassels they are so hot for spring of 2015 so I love that. Um, but the back just looks like this. It is kind of like a shiny leather material. It is kind of like a slobby bag as you can see. Right now it is filled to the edge. So that is why it is that like steady but normally it's actually really sloppy. It's not like really a structured back. Um, but because I've got that much in it, it looks kind of structured. And this is, I think it's just called the classic city bag from Balenciaga. It's got two straps of hair where you can have it over your arm or if you really like small you can also have it over your shoulder but it's really tight when you do like that so either on your arm or you can have it like that or else it has got a longer strap here as well so you can have it over your shoulder which is the thing that I do mostly um, but it's just the perfect back. Seriously, it's one of my absolute favorites at the moment. The reason why I decided to do this video now is because this is generally the back that I use at the moment. So all of the stuff that's in this bag is just the stuff that I carry around with me on an everyday basis. So let's just dig into this one. I've been out all day like shopping, just having a stroll around in the town and so on. So um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what I've actually brought with me. Just have it there, and then we'll just open the zipper like that. And when you look inside, uh, let me just give you an overview. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so messy, sorry. But it's actually got like a smaller pocket here in the side. I don't know if you can see that. A smaller pocket, and then over here there's some really small pockets. You can't really see them, but I stole some bits and bobs in there as well. And if we just start with the small pockets, um, in one of them I store my L'Oreal Element Satin um, Hairspray. I have this one in my bag because it's just a little travel size. It's so tiny. It is only 75 milliliters, so it's really small and handy to have with you, especially if you need to just touch up your hair during the day and so on. So I like that. Then seriously, I've gone crazy with like hand sanitizer and also hand creams and so on because my hands have been so dry lately. So these are just some essentials for me to have with me on the go wherever I am. This one is my Armspar Hand Cream Nordic. This is for all skin types. It's amazing. One of my absolute favorite hand creams. It is so, so, so like moisturizing to the hands and it does dry in fairly quickly. And the other thing is a hand sanitizer. This one is just so I don't even know where it's from. Dancast? It's from Dancast. <laughs> I think it's a Danish brand. But it's just a quick hand sanitizer. It's got no perfume and no parabens in it. And it's just really, really good if you are out and about and so on. And you, if you can't get your hands washed or anything like that. So I always bring that with me because it's important to keep your hands fresh if you're touching your face or anything else. Then let's turn this back all around and look into the little bit of a bigger room. In here I've got, I know, I'm such a dork. Um, my friend actually pointed this out to me. Why are you still wearing it in a travel bag? You know, this is from the airport. Um, but I don't know. It's just easier to grab then. <laughs> but in here I've got some makeup and perfumey bits and bobs. In here I've got my YSL Black Opium Perfume, which is my absolute favorite at the moment. It's like the only perfume that I wear. 
<laughs> I love it so much. The only two makeup things that I got with me um, is a lipstick from MAC. This is one called Hue. It's a glaze finish. It's the one I'm wearing today. And else, I've also got my Bobbi Brown lip liner in pale pink, which is just the perfect pale lip liner. And in the little room, I also have my house keys and my car keys as well. And what more? Some, oh, and these are my headphones for like my phone or whatever. These are always good to have with you. And they come in this little cute case, which I think is so cool. I just like that it's sorted in this way, so that's nice. And what else, what else? Oh, I've also got a um, nail file. I haven't op even opened this one yet. Um, this is from Smuk, uh, I think it's from Netto, a Danish like grocery store, and it was $14.95 Danish Krona. Fine! And lastly, I found something else down here. <laughs> Some um, gum paper stuff. And what else? <laughs> something for my um, charger for my phone. <laughs> and what else? Some hair ties as well because you never know when you need to get your hair away from the face, so that's always good to have with you. And oh, there's more! Oh, some painkillers as well because I don't know. And let's move on to the big room where all of the messy stuff is going on. I'm just going to grab whatever is in there because it is really messy right now. Okay, so the first things are my gloves. These are from Mulberry. These are so beautiful and so cool. I love them. And they're not too warm, but they're not like too cold either. They're just really good and they're the perfect size for my fingers because I've got really tiny fingers and my fingers they are very short as well so I need like child sized gloves and so on but these fit me perfectly so I love them so so much. I've also got a hairbrush in there. This is just, um, it says it's from Paul M but I don't know I just think it's really important to have a hairbrush with you. Your hair gets messy during the day and if it's windy and so on we all know it. Us long haired girls we know the drill. So it's just nice to have a good brush with you and this is kind of like a tangle teaser so it's really easy to brush through your hair with it and it's just lovely. Then I've got my sunglasses because it's been so sunny today, it's been so hot. I know that I'm sitting in like a turtleneck but seriously it's been so hot outside today. It's been an amazing weather in Denmark. Seriously spring has finally arrived. Um, but these are just um, the classic Wayfair um, Ray-Bans. They are cool, I don't know. I look so stupid with like sunglasses because my face is so tiny. Seriously, it is such a pain to find like good looking sunglasses for me. And if I ever have to wear glasses, seriously, I need contacts. Like seriously, I can't wear glasses. I look like a freak. But these are okay because they're not too big. They're like okay. What do you guys think? And obviously I store them in this case here just to protect them from anything else, scratching them or something like that. Um, furthermore, there is some other stuff in here. Oh, I've been out shopping a bit today as well. Let me just show you. I've got the receipt here. But I bought two new, like, drugstore things from e.l.f. Um, the first thing here is the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. Um, it says that it fills in fine lines and creates a flawless finish. It's ideal for all skin tones that want a luminous glow. So this is kind of like a luminous primer. And it says that it gives a radiant glow, so I'm really excited about this one. Um, I haven't tried that much like makeup from e.l.f. Uh, other than their lipsticks and also their powder, which is this one. This is the Tone Correcting Powder, which is one of my absolute favorite like setting powders because it's not too heavy on the skin and it's really cheap as well. This was only 39.95 Danish Krona and this one was... 74.95 Danish Krona, so it's really, really, really cheap. Furthermore, I also went to Mesa's today and I bought some few bits and bobs in there. Oh no, I didn't get the receipt. I'm so sorry. Oh, devil. Okay, so I can't really tell you the exact prices because I haven't got the receipt, um, but you you can check it online. Um, the first thing here is from Udegon, which is a Danish brand. And this is pure jojoba oil and it is um, organic. I'm going to use it external, obviously, on my skin just to give some hydration and stuff like that. I just love jojoba oil for so many reasons. It's such an amazing oil and um, I'm really excited to use this one. I, 
I am so happy that I found some pure jojoba oil. I bought two new ones of the um, Perfect Match Concealers from L'Oreal. I bought it in the color number one ivory for my under eye area just to brighten up and also in the color number two vanilla just on my face for spots and pimples and so on. Honestly, this is probably my favorite drugstore concealer because it is so lightweight but it still has got a fair amount of coverage. The only bad thing that I have to say about this one is that it is tiny. You don't really get that much product for like, I think it's around 80 Danish kroner, something like that. So you don't really get that much product for the money, but um, honestly, it's it's a good like travel size or handbag size. But honestly, it just bothers me that you don't get more than this little size. And then I bought something new. I haven't really seen this one before from L'Oreal, but this is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Genius Kit. I am so excited about this one. This is um, in the color light to medium. This is starting to be like a haul. <laughs> so it looks like this inside. You get a wax and then a powder. It really reminds me of the Benefit um, brow kit that I've also got. Um, but you also get a little tweezer and then also a little brush. I really truly believe that this is going to be good. Hopefully it's not too red in its undertones, but we'll have to wait and see. And I also got this uh, Argan Body Oil from Mattis for free because they are celebrating their birthday party. So um, I got this one for free. So. Yeah, it says that it is just a um, smoothing and really well smelling oil. Mmm, smells lovely. Yeah, it feels good. It feels really, really good. And it does drain fairly quickly. Exciting! And next in here we've got this back here. This is actually my Saliva brush back, which came with some of my um, eyeshadow brushes. But in here I store pads for, you know, when it's that time of the month. But I also store a shitload of Q-tips because when you're out and about, you never know when you need a Q-tip. Seriously, it's just the truth. So as you can see, I've got so many Q-tips in there. If you need a Q-tip, I've got one. Some elastics, don't know why that is in there. And the very last thing that I store in here is actually obviously my wallet. This is still my Mulberry wallet. It is fairly organized as you can see. I store my cards, some money and some notes for myself, some receipts as well, and in the middle compartment room I store some coins as well. As you can see, here's some Danish coins. Ta -da! What have I been buying lately? What have we got here? <gasps> These are my Fifty Shades of Grey tickets for when I went to see it in the cinema with my sister. But this is a really great wallet. If you need any advice for a great wallet, I think Mulberry does some amazing wallets. They are so good in their quality. I've had this one for like three years now and it still looks as good as new, so um, it's really good quality. And the bag is empty. As I told you, now it is much more sloppy as you can see. Um, I just stored so much shit in it, so that was why it was like totally stuffed. If you're looking for a new cool um, designer handbag, then definitely go check this one out. This is so cool. This is just the perfect size for if you're going somewhere and it is just, it is that perfect mix of being feminine but still being really rockabilly-ish. And I know I say rockabilly every time I mention this back, but it's so true. It is just the perfect blend. Yeah, just rock, edge. Mm. I love it. And that was all I had in the bag and that was all for this video. If you found it enjoyable and nice to watch in any way, please give it a thumbs up, that would mean so much to me. Also remember to subscribe to my channel because that makes me so happy and obviously helps me a lot on YouTube. I just want to say thank you so much for watching, I love you all so so much. Bye!